Okay, so this is New York Stilo coming at you with another video and we're going to be talking about what I plan to do with this product here, Ecosystems Miracle Mud. And, we're, and I'm also going to be doing a series of several experiments on finding out whether or not this product is effective. Now, you know, one thing that really bothers me is that like I went into YouTube and I and I did a couple of searches about this mud. I was able to get a hold of this 10 pound bag of Miracle Mud and I got a really good price on it and stuff like that. But, you know, I, 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 I went on YouTube and I couldn't find anything positive or or any systems out there that really incorporate the mud and then tell you that the mud is worth it. All I found was a bunch of videos that are made by the company that makes this miracle mud and you know I really don't want to hear about the company who makes the mud yes I would love to um, them to show off the product and stuff like that but if I really want to get an opinion I want to get an opinion from a consumer such as you and I who can give unbiased opinions and make an experiment and find out if what ecosystems claims that this miracle mud can do uh you know we can come up with some sort of an answer of whether or not it is capable of doing what they say that it can do so that's the reason why i'm making these videos and this is going to be a series of probably about three videos and it's going to take like a six month pr um timeline for me to really come up with some answers about this miracle mud now the first thing i could tell you about it is that it's really expensive you know, this 10 pound bag could run you anywhere from $90, from $70 to $90, depending on where you find it. You know, and Ecosystems claims that you, in order for it to work effectively, you have to replace 50% of the mud on a yearly basis. So that becomes a little bit expensive. However, Ecosystems claims that this miracle mud can work for you as a filtration system if you incorporate it into a marine system as a refugium with some macroalgae and also claims that you don't need a protein skimmer I really doubt that analogy I really really have a problem with that because um, what happens in nature is that if there is not I understand that a refugium with macroalgae will remove these nutrients but without the help of a protein skimmer what happens is that nature kicks in and starts to develop hair algae and cyanobacteria whatever it needs in order for the system to survive nature is going to come in and, and do its job and your tank could become really unsightly however ecosystems does say that if you're going to run this mud with a filtrate with a um a, uh, a skimmer then you should only run it for a couple of hours a day so as to um try not to get rid of uh the the phytoplankton that's going to feed your corals and whatnot now um the 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 company also states that this particular mud releases a lot of beneficial um major and minor trace elements that's a really good thing and I'm, I'm 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 gonna put it to the test and i've got a lot of work to do in order to install this into my refugium we're gonna talk about that um in a little while and i'm gonna i'm gonna show you what the refugium looks like now with the deep sand bed i'm gonna have to get rid of it but we're gonna get we're gonna get into that in a little bit so for the time being i'm just gonna show you what the miracle mud looks like I managed to open up a little corner area here and just kind of put this on a white piece of paper and it looks like mud with um, some bigger grain sizes and some really tiny ones and uh, ecosystem claims that you do not need a deep sand bed with this miracle mud that you can have a one to two inch deep um, or shallow I'm not even gonna say deep but one to two inch shallow sand bed of this mud and it should be enough to cause um, um, denitrification in your system in other words remove nitrates and whatnot so I'm gonna really put this to the test they also claim that with this miracle mud you can uh, do less water changes and you know what 
If that's what you claim, that's what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do to this 30-gallon system is I'm not going to do any water changes for six months. I haven't done a water change since I set it up initially. But I'm not going to do any water changes for six months. And I'm going to continue to run the skimmer several, several hours a day. And I'm also going to just ensure that the calcium alkalinity and pH stay within um, natural seawater parameters. And we're going to see if this Miracle Mud can really do what it says it can do. So, um, this is just like, this is probably video number one. Video number two is going to be with the mud already installed in the system. And then video number three is going to be somewhere uh, six months down the line when I'm going to show you if it's really true that this company claims that your corals will take on a really beautiful color and stuff like that because of the uh, nutrients, the, the beneficial uh, trace elements that's going to release into the water. And you know it's gonna. It, I, I, we're gonna put this to the test. And I'm. I, it, let me tell you, if it doesn't work out for me, and I got negative things to say, I'm sorry, Miracle Mutt, or ecosystems. But I, you know, I, I keep it real. So in order for me to get this installed into the system, man, do I have to do a lot of work? Why? Because I've already have an established refugium. We're gonna take a look quickly here. And this is what the refugium looks like and you barely see any micro algae in the glass you only see it in certain patches such as you see here up on this area and that's because the refugium itself is already fully established there's lots of life in there preventing the micro algae from continuing to grow and it basically I haven't cleaned the glass I haven't done anything to it and you can see how crystal clean it looks inside that refugium but in order for me to install the miracle mud I'm gonna have to take the macro algae put it in the main display take the heater put it in the main display take the rubble rock put it in the main display remove the four inch deep sand bed sugar fine sand aragonite that's in there and completely take the water out of the refugium and add the miracle mud the reason why I'm doing that like that instead of just taking everything out leaving the water and adding the mud is because i've read a couple of people online that give a warning to us that if you're going to use this it creates a lot of silt so your whole refugium is going to look like a one big cloudy water and if i get that into your main display after it settles you're going to have about a quarter of an inch of that mud sitting on your main display's deep sand bed so you know i'm gonna I'm going to get to work right now, set this up, and then after I got it running and the water has cleared, I'm going to show you guys um, a second video, and then we're going to put this Miracle Mud to the test. So, um, guys and girls, I'm getting a lot of support from every one of you out there, especially my, subscri my subscribers. Um, I appreciate your, your good comments on my videos and whatnot. If, if there are any of you who stumble upon my videos subscribe um the more subscribers i have the more videos i will release so any questions comments concerns if you guys have any experience with miracle mud and would like to share that with me feel free to leave comments on the video itself or on my page i'd really love to hear it this is the first time that i'm really going to get into experimenting with this miracle mud and finding out if it really does what um, ecosystem says that it's capable of doing so once again this is New York Stilo with another video signing out until next time peace